Oh, it's just so stunning. It is so stunning. Hi you guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I want to show y'all how to do some flat iron curls because I know that you guys are getting into your straight hair for the season and a lot of people don't like the bone straight look. It's giving like roller wrap. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm gonna show you guys how to curl it and pin curl it. Let's just get right into this video. The first thing you're gonna need is a flat iron. It really doesn't matter. I honestly think you should get one a little bit smaller than this. I don't know how, how thick this one is, but if you wanna get one smaller, highly recommend that. But that's what I have, so that's what we're gonna use. And to also get some of these clips, that's really all that you need, and maybe a scarf. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair up. I'm gonna start from the back and then just work my way up. I'm gonna be using the Gabrielle Union Flawless Protect Heat Protectant. So what you wanna do, you wanna go in and flip it and go down, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Just like this. And then just take it down the length of the hair. Like that. And as you can see, you get a nice curl. I don't think this flat iron is hot enough, but that's okay. We finished it up. And you wanna just take your hand and kind of form that curl. There's so many ways you can get this into the pin curl position. That's just how I do it. Roll it all the way up and then pin it. I'm just gonna repeat this process. Another way of pin curl is to take it at the root and just go around and wrap it around and around, following the curl and which way it wants to go, like that. And then pin in that. Or you could just take one of these Find the end of the curl and work your way through the curl and just clip it down like that. But that's not tight enough for me, so I don't prefer that way, but it is the easier way. instead of pin curls just because I want to make sure that the curls stay like voluminous I don't know and I'm going to roll it backwards so basically I'm gonna curl it this way which is essentially the same way awesome take the foam roller and I'm just gonna wrap it around all the way to the scalp like that and clip it and just do the other side got them all installed honestly they're almost ready to take out I was gonna put on some makeup but then I'm like I'd rather my brows be done but now I'm like I should probably put on some makeup so I'm gonna put some makeup on and I'll be right back I have my makeup on so it's time to take out these pin curls whoo y'all I was outside <laughs> and I hit a spider web y'all I like to freak out I thought he got in my pin curl friend I was about to be too mad I'm just gonna go ahead and take them all out. Take them all out. Take them all out. This is what we're looking like. This is what we're looking like. This is what we're looking like. So bouncy, so curly, so pretty. Of course, we're going to finger comb them out, but let me take these out. I 
I always make sound effects, so sorry. <sighs> sorry about that. Give it a little uh in it. Put a little uh in it. Uh. Look at that. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Ah, oh, so pretty. So pretty. Y'all, stop playing with me. Don't, don't even play with me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I just have not been, I've not straightened my hair in so long. And it's just like, it's just like a full circle right now. I feel like all of the things that I've learned within hair is like continuing to grow me and like, I don't know, I just love my hair. I have a, such an amazing relationship with my hair. It loves me. I treat her right. So look at my hair. Oh, it's just so stunning. It is so stunning. Okay, so before my curls drop, I need to get out of here so I can do some content. I just wanted to add this part into the video because in the last video, I showed y'all how I wrap my hair. But with this curl video, I never showed y'all like how to wrap that. Now the flexi bras that I am using, they are the perfect ones for straight hair. I would say get these or bigger, don't go smaller. If you go smaller, it's going to look like more curls and not like, you know, feather type of curl. So I had to kind of refresh it too, y'all, because I realized some of the curls in the back, I flipped them upward. Like I brought it this way and I went down, which made the curl come this way and not go this way. So make sure y'all curling, you know, back that way. Okay. So some of the curls do look a little, mm, but I had put a little heat to it, just like a little blow dry heat. And I put these rods on, so now let's see what this is hitting on. See, now now it's curled at the same direction. That's what I wanted. Because it was going all kind of ways. I was like, girl, what? So now I'm just going to set it like this every night. Not only use six because of my, my layers and how my layers are, but if you have, like, one length hair, you don't have to do that. And I like to pin curl that top part just because of that. You know what I'm mean? saying? You got to pin curl that. I like her to do that. So the curls done fail, but at least it's still giving body, honey. She's giving body. Look at the back. All right, you guys. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.